Hello guys, in this video we are going to see uh, the hardware circuit to run the DC motor by using the microcontroller, fine. So before starting with this, we will, I will show you the components. So this is the power source basically, this entire box you can see is the power source. In this, uh, this is the plus 5 volt supply, the red line which is shown over here. Then this particular line will give you the 12 volt supply line, here the 15 volt is written. However, this is adjustable. Now we have set this particular supply to the 12 volt and this is the uh, ground which is the given uh, one supply over here. Okay. Now uh, we will go for the next components. Fine. So here this is the DC motor which is the 12 volt DC motor which has two terminal. You can see over here this is the positive terminal, this is the negative terminal shown over here. And uh, this motor will be connected to the microcontroller with the help of L293D IC. So that L293D IC is over here. Okay. Now this IC is having total 16 pins. Already we have discussed those 16 pins. So it is having 16 pins. And to identify the numbers on the 16 pin, I already told you there is a notch provided over here. At this point there is a notch provided. So by looking at this notch, you can uh, get the numbers. So to this particular left of the notch, we will have the pin number 1 over here. So this is the pin number 1, then pin number 2, 3, 4 and so on up to pin number 8. Likewise, you will have the pins on this side, this is the pin number 9 up to pin number 16 over here. So this is the L, uh, IC L293D. Then here we are having the microcontroller trainer kit which will be used for the programming. Now in this particular thing, I am going to use uh, these are two pins one is the pin number one and second one is the pin number two so this is the pin number one shown over here rather it's a pin number three because it's odd number pin we are using for getting the output over here fine now i'll show you one by one how to connect the things over here so observing the uh, diagram of 293dic you know that uh, the pin number one which is nothing but this particular pin this pin is connected to the 5 volt supply. So what I am doing, I need 5 volt supply at 2, 3 places. So I will take uh, first the uh, supply of 5 volt over here, okay, to the breadboard. Then I am taking the ground supply over here from the breadboard, okay. Then I am having 12 volt supply which is required to run the motor. I am taking at this particular place. So this is how we have connected. We have just taken the supply from the power source 5 volt, 12 volt, and the ground over here. Now, what we are going to do, we are just go on connecting the things over here. So, what I am going to do, the 5 volt supply plus 5 volt supply from this particular line, I will first give it to the pin number 5 1, which is the supply enable pin EN1 pin. Then, the pin number 2 is nothing but the input pin okay obviously to this particular l293d the input will be from the microcontroller so what i am going to do i am going to connect the pin number one of the microcontroller which is over here this is the pin number one of microcontroller this is the pin number one i am connecting to the pin number two of the ic i have connected it is to pin number two of ic i hope you can see this particular thing okay then uh, the pin number 3 of the IC will be going to one of the terminal of motor. So I am having two terminals of motor over here. Okay. So one terminal of the motor I am connecting to the pin number 3 over here. So this is I am connecting to the pin number 3. Pin number 3 of IC I have connected the motor. Fine. Now mm, the next will be the pin number uh, 7. So pin number 7 will be the another input from the microcontroller to the IC. Fine. So that, that is pin uh, input number 2. So pin number 2 of microcontroller, this is the pin number 2 or rather pin number 3 over here we can say, will be connected to the pin number 7 of IC over here. So pin number 7 I have connected C over here. You can have this pin number 8, pin number 7 over here. Okay, so to the pin number 7, I have connected the output from the microcontroller. Now, 
the output of this pin number 7 I am going to get at the pin number 6 I am going to get at the pin number 6 of IC so pin number 6 of IC I will be giving to the another terminal of motor to the other terminal of motor which is uh, going uh, from the IC pin number 6 ok so this is how I have connected pin number 1 to the 5 volt supply pin number 2 to one of the input from the microcontroller pin number 3 will be one of the terminal of motor then pin number 7 will be an, uh, one uh, other input from the microcontroller that is the second input from microcontroller pin number 6 will be connected to the other terminal of the motor over here ok then pin number uh, 4 and 5 pin number 4 and 5 needs to be connected to the ground they are needs to be connected to the ground because they have shown it's a, a zero volt supply so i'm going to connect this particular thing to the ground now this particular line this line is the black line is the thing with this ground so i'm connecting the ground supply over here okay then i'll connect pin number five pin number five to the ground over here fine so I have connected all the pins on of one side of this IC to uh, the microcontroller, DC motor and the ground. Now pin number 16, I have to connect it with the plus 5 volt supply, the pin that is the requirement of IC. So I will connect the pin number 16 with plus 5 volt supply. So this is the 5 volt supply line which I will be giving it to the pin number 16 of IC, fine. So this is how the entire circuit will be now we are going to uh, execute the code already i have entered the code over here so that code is already shared through one of the video you can go through the code now i'll uh, execute the code over here fine so you can see over here i'm going to type g and then i'll give the starting address which is 3000 fine and i will go for execution okay guys what happened over here though we are having the execution completed the motor is not running over here correct now so this is because we have uh, missed one pin to connect over here and that pin number is nothing but the pin number 8 over here so this pin number 8 needs to be connected to the 12 volt supply which is required by the motor fine so what i am doing now i am just connecting the pin number 8 to the 12 volt supply so already we have taken this 12 volt supply over here this is the 12 volt supply I have taken at this particular point okay so to this line when I connect the motor will start running you can see that the motor is running over here so this is what the motor running so it will first uh, rotating in one direction then it will have the delay so motor will run the delay is bit longer motor will run for some time in one in one direction then it will stop and then it will reverse its direction again it will stop likewise it will go on continuing the yes now the motor has stopped now it will rotate in the reverse direction we will just wait because the delay is a bit longer over here we are using the three uh, what you can say the resistors for the delay so it takes time because when we go with the two uh, resistors it will have the uh, what you can say it won't properly work because it, it is very low delay for that particular motor So it will start rotating in the anti-clockwise direction now yes you can observe over here now the motor is rotating in the anti-clockwise direction fine okay now after this particular thing the motor will run it will stop again and it will start running in the clockwise direction so this is how you are going to have the circuit diagram over here so now mm -hmm. though you are going to see this particular uh, circuit a bit uh, uh, critical but it is not like that you go one by one and go on connecting uh, pin sequentially you will get uh, the idea of the connections fine i hope you will understand it okay thank you